In this video, I'm going to discuss price ceilings and the impact of price ceilings on consumer surplus and producer surplus. You'll find a link below to videos on price ceilings and price floors. The final output looks something like this, and I'm going to walk you through this step by step. Along the horizontal axis, I'll plot quantity per unit of time. Along the vertical axis, I'll plot prices. I will draw in the demand curve with an intercept of $20 and a supply curve with an intercept of $2. The equilibrium price is $10 and the equilibrium quantity is 10 as well. Quantity demanded is 10 and it's the same thing as quantity and also quantity supplied. They're all 10 at this point. I'm going to draw a table so I keep track of everything. I want to keep track of everything at the equilibrium and also at price ceiling and also the differences. Producer surplus is the area above the supply curve and below price, this red area. And if you recall, the area of a triangle is base times height. So the height of the triangle is 10 minus 2, or 8. The base is 10, that distance right there. The area is 1 half base times height, which is 1 half times 1 half times 10 times 8. And this is equal to 40, and that's producer surplus in equilibrium. Consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above price, or the area of this blue triangle. It has a height of 10 and a base of 10 as well. The area is 1 half base times height, which is 1 half 10 times 10 and this equals to 50. Consumer surplus at equilibrium is 50. The whole surplus of consumer surplus plus producer surplus is this area right here. I'll draw that, outline that in black, and that is the total surplus, which is 90. And at equilibrium, deadweight loss is zero. Imagine a price ceiling is imposed at $6, and I'll draw that in right here. The quantity demanded can be determined by drawing all the way over to the demand curve and drawing down. And here it would be 14. That's quantity demanded or QD. The quantity supplied, you just draw over to the supply curve and down again. And this would be 5 units, and that's quantity supplied. Quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied which will cause a shortage. More people want it than have it. So at a price ceiling of six, quantity demand is 14 and quantity supplied is five. So you have a shortage of 14 minus five or nine. After the price ceiling, producer surplus has been reduced. It used to be this and now it is this. Producer surplus is this new area of this triangle. So I take 6 minus 2, which is 4, and that's the height of the triangle. The base of the triangle is 5, which is that distance. So the area is 10. Producer surplus has been reduced by 30, or reduced by this amount right here. Now, to determine consumer surplus, or the new consumer surplus, I just draw straight up from this red line right here, right here, to the demand curve. And then, remember, consumer surplus was this. And part of it shrinks up, the triangle shrinks up to here. But we add in some new area, which is this blue rectangle here. Let me shade that in for you. That, and then that. And I'll outline in black for you the new consumer surplus, which is this area here. So to calculate the new consumer surplus, I take the area of the triangle plus the area of that rectangle. Area of this rectangle, that one right here, 
is one side is nine and the other side of that rectangle is five so the area is 45 the area of that triangle is one half base times height the height of the triangle is five or 20 minus 15 the base is five or this distance right here again the area is one half base times height or one half five times five which is equal to 12.5 now I add the area of the triangle and the rectangle together, 12.5 plus 45, and this equals to 57.5, and that's consumer surplus after the price ceiling, and consumer surplus has gone up 7.5. Remember this whole area, I'll outline it in black for you, this whole area equals 90. To determine dead weight loss, which is this area in black here, outlined there, to determine that, I take 90 minus 57.5 minus 10, and this equals to 22.5, and that is dead weight loss to society. I can also take the actual area of these two triangles. I can determine dead weight loss or this area right here by calculating the area of the two triangles. So the area of the top triangle, and I'll make that gray, the base is 5 and the height is 5. So 1 half base times height or 1 half 5 times 5 is equal to 12.5. The area of the bottom triangle, that area there, is 4 times 5 times 1 half, which is 10. And total dead weight is this, these two areas added together, which is 12.5 plus 10, which is equal to 22.5. And there you have it. Let me organize this a little bit better and shade in and put some numbers here. I'll do it like this instead. Producer surplus has gone down. Consumer surplus has gone up. And there's a dead weight loss to society. And all of this has caused a shortage. So there you have it. Share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links to videos below. Like my videos, subscribe. I'm always posting new stuff. Good luck in the econ class.